All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use a AMD graphics card and a NVIDIA graphics card in the same computer for cryptocurrency mining. So the first thing I'm going to do is close everything down, stop the miner, and shut off the computer so that I can put the new graphics card in. And of course, Windows is going to want to do an update. No big deal, you don't have to suffer through the pain. I will skip that part. So I ended up getting a 1660 Ti used for 375 Canadian, which in the current market isn't too bad. And the card that's in the computer is a AMD Vega 64, which I also got used for 390 Canadian, which again, isn't a great deal, but in the current market, it's not too bad. So I literally just brought this into the house and I'm not even sure if this Nvidia card is gonna work, but I think it's going to. So I'm going to install it in the computer, and you might ask yourself, why would you want to do this in the first place? And I'll tell you why. With the difficulty getting graphics cards right now, if you have a computer like this with one card in, you may want to get another card. And if your first card is an AMD or an NVIDIA, and you find a good deal on the other company's card, this is a good opportunity to grab the card and keep on mining and greatly increase your hash power. So you can see it's pretty tight with the, uh, the Wi-Fi card but in between these two cards isn't too bad, but it is better than my Vega 56 with the 64 in there. So I'll turn the power to the PSU on, and then I'll boot the computer up, and with a little bit of luck, it fires right up. Obviously the AMD drivers are already on the computer, and I have downloaded the Nvidia ones, and now I am installing them. So I'll skip the whole installation process, but it went very smoothly, and you can see there with the uh, GPU-Z, the AMD card, and then there's the 1660 Ti, and it's got GDDR6 micron memory, so that's fine. Now what I'm going to do is open MSI Afterburner, and I'm going to open NiceHash. I know a lot of people don't like NiceHash, but whatever, I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do is obviously benchmark the new graphics card, and then I'm going to set all of my settings for the NVIDIA card in MSI Afterburner. I am not going to touch the Vega settings in Afterburner though. So I'm going to turn the Vega 64 card completely off and I'm going to take off all the benchmarks other than the uh, the Dagger Hashimoto Phoenix Miner. So I'm just going to benchmark the one algorithm. So I'm going to switch over to the 1660 Ti and you can see its information and that's the button you're going to hit right there. On startup, you want to have these settings take effect. So obviously, as soon as it's done benchmarking, it's gonna start mining. Should be no mystery here. Memory clock is gonna go way up into the six or 700 range. Core clock's gonna go down or stay around zero. And then eventually, I'm going to push that power down to 65%. Basically, I want this thing at about 30 mega hash, and it's at 29 and a half, so that's good enough for this demonstration. So I'll just leave it uh, there, I'll hit that check mark button, save those settings as is. You can see it's it's at about 29 and a half mega hash. So that's about right. You could probably get this to about 30 to 31. So I'm going to stop the miner. And this is very important. I'm not minimizing afterburner. I am closing afterburner completely. And I'll close nice hash. Now what I'm going to do is go over to this a AMD memory tweak. And this also has my settings. So I'm going to open that up, click on my Sapphire settings, and hit save on that. Now I'm going to go back into NiceHash and start the miner. You'll note that I'm not opening MSI, and in fact, I'm not opening anything else. If you didn't have a Vega and weren't using the AMD memory tweak, let's say at a 5700, I would say do the same thing, but instead of this step, open the AMD program if you're going to use their, uh, their adjusting tools in that. So you're going to see that I got it on two different algorithms. The AMD card is on LOL and the NVIDIA card is on Phoenix Miner. I find having the NVIDIA and AMD cards on two different um, algorithms is the better choice. So you can see in the NVIDIA card, it's still hitting 29 and a half. And what you're going to see on the AMD card, the Vega 64, is that it's going to be at 50 mega hash. So both cards are right where I want them and right where they sort of should be. And that's generating about $8.50 in profit between those two cards. And that's US, so that's about $10 Canadian, which is pretty solid for two cards at this time. 
So I'll just get out of the screen recording and, and get back onto my crappy GoPro Hero 4 here. You can see, very blurry because there's no focus. But it's at 50 mega hash, it's been on for a little while. Sitting at about $9 US a day. And then uh, there's a, a good blurry image of the 1660 Ti putting out about 29 and a half mega hash. So not bad. The kid who sold me the 1660 Ti didn't uh, do me dirty. So that was that was mighty nice of him. The temperatures aren't too bad. The Vegas always run hot, but so it's at about 60 Celsius in the fans. You know, I, I eventually get the fan up to about 60 as well, but the 1660s, they actually run pretty cool. It's not nearly as hot as the Vega 56 with the Vega 64. That was really hot. Um, ultimately, these two have just a little bit better spacing and allow for slightly better airflow. Obviously, when I put the side of the case back on, it's going to get a little worse, but I don't want my dog or my kids sticking their fingers in there. So there you can see AMD and NVIDIA working together in a symbiotic relationship. And honestly, it went first try and a matter of minutes to get this set up. Uh, so here's on a larger rig with even a more diverse cards, uh, a 3070, two 1660 Supers, a 1080 Ti, another 3070, and there's another Vega 64 all on one rig. So you can see it here as well, uh, registering six GPUs, about $28 US a day. This Vega 64 doesn't do quite as well as the other one, but it runs really cool. Uh, so it's pulling about 47 mega hash, and then you can see that big mess of other GPUs there. So um, I got to tune those a little bit better because I didn't uh, do too much work with the 3070s. So they're only at 57, but I can uh, most likely get them to 61. Anyway, I hope that helps you. If you're thinking about getting an AMD and NVIDIA GPU, it isn't hard to do. It's super easy. Get your settings on NVIDIA cards first using MSI Afterburner or a similar program and then close that out. And then when you're doing the AMD settings, you can have your program open because I find it's a little more finicky. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.